welcome to this week's episode of the Saturday Showdown. We have got a lot of action for you, including the first defense of the Rising Phoenix title by Ravishing Vita. But before we get into that, if you are new here, please could you go down and hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all the action here at NFHW. And speaking of action, we're going to kick things off with the NFHW champion as they are taking on Big Daddy. So right off the gate, the referee gets dropped as Big Daddy is just shoved into, into him. And there are no officials at the start of this match. The brawling is on the outside. Because Doug Williams lost the Ascension title last Monday matchups against Oni. But this match was already scheduled and obviously is taking part. This is not for the NFHW Championship. That will next be defended at episode 21. in a week's time against the ultimate warrior referee Larry back on his feet look so now at least there is some control in that ring as Big Daddy pressing Doug Williams above his head the power there of Big Daddy Doug Williams back on his feet lovely jumping DDT takes the big man down and Williams now just working on that neck, wrenching the head. Trying to build some momentum here up on Big Daddy. Oh, a sleeper hold. Can he put the big man away? Takes him down, but too close to the ropes. That's big Daddy fighting back. That gets caught. Williams sending Big Daddy into the corner. Big monkey flip out. How are the legs there of Doug Williams? Williams now going up to that top rope. Oh, there's a big knee from the top. D big Daddy is stunned. But back up on his feet. Sent into the corner. Oh, Williams looking for that chaos theory. Spins him through. There it is. Can he get the pin? And that is it. Is your winner, Doug Williams. Doug Williams with the victory here, showing why he's one of the best here in NFHW. Despite that loss for last Monday, he is still on fire. And speaking of the man that he lost to, only is now in action in a non-title matchup against Elton Prince. So yes, Oni shocking the world last Monday, defeating Doug Williams for the NFHW title. Not sorry, not the NFHW title. The Ascension title. Of course, Williams won that back at episode 20 against Kieran Donnelly and had some tough defences over the week. I think he defended it every Saturday showdown since he won. And then on the Monday matchups, he lost to this man, Oni. And Elton Prince with a good opportunity here. If he can beat Oni, that's going to catapult him up in the rankings for that Ascension title. But that is easier said than done as Elton Prince giving away so much size here. Oh, big clothesline taking Elton Prince down. There's only just working on the face of Elton. Elton Prince catches him with that elbow, avoids kick to the midsection. Not sure how much damage that did to Oni. Oh, big Samoan drop. But that is going to do a lot of damage to, to Elton Prince. But Elton bringing those knees up, catching Oni. 
Trying to go for a bear hug on the big man. That is a questionable tactic by Elton Prince. Zoni just drives his face into the corner. Elton. Oh, reversal. Lovely hip toss. Drops the elbow right into the heart of Oni. Sends him off the rope. Ducks underneath. Over the top. Big devastating kick. Did you see that? There's the cover. Oni with the ropes. But the referee did not see. Elton. The referee missed the fact that Oni had that bottom rope. But either way. That is going to go down in the record books as a win for Elton Prince. And what is that going to do for the career of Elton Prince getting a victory over the Ascension title champion? But speaking of champions, Ravishing Rita won that Rising Phoenix belt last week here on the Saturday Showdown. This is her first defence against Blair Davenport. with that slam going up to that top rope. The title is on the line here. And a big drop kick just pushed away by Davenport. He's firing up with those chops. A big European uppercut takes Rita down. But Rita back in control. Turning the table so quickly. And Rita is such a dangerous wrestler in the ring. There's Blair Davenport to the outside. Ravish and Rita following up. <laughs> Referee has that count going. Oh, big clothesline by Rita catching Davenport. She was coming in. But Blair sending Rita into those still steps <laughs> those steps are totally unforgiving big double axe handle Blair Davenport pushing her advantage here Davenport back in the ring referee up to a six count of course the titles can't change hands on a count out but Rita back in the ring Davenport oh catches Rita lovely knee could that be enough? Just a two count. Ravish and Rita managing to get her shoulders up off the canvas. And Davenport now going for a neck breaker. But Rita fighting out, hitting a neck breaker of her own. Into that double axe handle. And what a counter by Ravish and Rita. Oh, and there it is! Her own devastating neck breaker into the cover. And that is it. Ravishing Rita with a successful first title defense of the Rising Phoenix belt. And how long will she hold that title for? Make sure you stick around here at NFHW to find out the legacy of Ravishing Rita. But now we've got more action for you, so we're going to head down to ringside in a match already in progress as the NFHW Women's Champion, Yuri Minto, is taking on Oscar in a non-title matchup. Of course, Yuri Minto will be defending that NFH title belt at episode 21 in an Elimination Chamber match. And that is definitely going to be one tough challenge for Yuri Minto to keep hold of the belt in that one. But getting our attention back here to tonight to this non-title match as Oscar and Minto just brawling on the outside. Oscar sending Minto back into the ring. Taking her time though to get back in. 
Jody Minto. Oh, kick to the midsection. Oscar with those kicks. Just launching Minto. Drop in the elbow to the back. There's a cover. But too close to the ropes. Lally catches it this time. Oscar stamping on the hand of Yuri Minto trying to take away that grip power, the punching power of the champion. But a lovely duck by Yuri Minto. Sees the tables turned. Yuri Minto, shoulder tackle, taking Oscar down. Oh, big suicide dive goes nowhere. And Yuri Minto comes crashing down onto the arena floor. But already back up. That just shows you the toughness of Yuri Minto. She has held that belt for quite a while now. Of course, she lost the Rising Phoenix Championship last week. Two ravishing meets with that triple threat match. But she was not involved in the pinfall in that one. to Oscar referee trying to get these ladies back in the ring oh belly to belly suplex on the outside Oscar's in trouble and a German referee up to a six count these women need to be careful they don't get counted out here Oscar sent back in and Yuli back in the ring as well. And just drives Oscar's face into the canvas. Oh, Yuli Minto looking for a submission here. Turns through. And look at the pressure on Oscar's legs. But Yuli Minto releasing the hold fairly quickly. Up to that top rope. Big splash connects. There's the cover. And that is going to be it. Yuri Minto once again picking the victory up here in a non-title match. But how will she fare at episode 21 inside that elimination chamber? Will she be able to hold on to the belt or will we be crowding the new NFHW Women's Champion? But now we have got a triple threat match for you as JBL is taking on Sheldrake and the plastic nightmare Cody Rhodes. This is Cody Rhodes' debut match here in NFHW. And what a tough time he is going to find himself in. Taking on the undefeated JBL. JBL has never been pinned or made to submit here in NFHW yet. And Sheldrake is definitely no slouch either. As JBL dropping the plastic nightmare over that top rope. Sheldrake back into the ring. Of course, this is no disqualifications, no count outs. First pinfall or submission gets the win. Big punch there, catching JBL. But just a two count, JBL is so tough. He's no easy character to put away here in NFHW. Sheldrake with that hip attack in the corner. It's Cody Rhodes picking up a kendo stick, changes his mind though. Oh, big face wash by Sheldrake as Rhodes back in the ring. Rhodes going up to that top row. Oh, big elbow to the outside, misses. That could have cracked some plastic. And a big sit-out scoop slam by Sheldrake. Sheldrake reversal. Cody breaking up. Big spine buster on Cody Rhodes. Sheldrake ejected over that top rope. JBL in control here. JBL getting Sheldrake, dropping him over that top rope. As Rhodes slowly trying to get back up to his feet. JBL just pounding his back of his head into the canvas. Referee with a count on Sheldrake. I'm a little bit confused as to why. 
Maybe Barry, he's getting a bit muddled up with his matches here tonight. Pump handle by JBL. Taking Rhodes over to that blue corner, driving his face into the turnbuckle. Sheldrake with a spear. Doesn't quite, cap, doesn't quite connect well, though. As JBL looking for a powerbomb. Gets him up and he goes down. Bulldog by Rhodes. And Rhodes with a cover on Sheldrake. And that is going to be it. The Plastic Nightmare Cody Rhodes. The Plastic Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Making his debut here and picking up the victory. Hitting Sheldrake. But once again, JBL is still yet to be pinned or made to submit here in NFHW. But now it is time for our main event of the evening as Marty Gennetti is taking on one half of the NFHW Tag Champions, Guacamole. And these two, these two teams have been having a bit of a feud lately. The Rockers not happy that the Cheesy Nachos picked up the victory in that big 14 cluster for the belts. And I believe, just been informed, that the Rockers will be challenging the Cheesy Nachos at episode 21 for a shot at the NFHW tag titles. So you've got to believe that these two men want the victory. Guacamole defeating Shawn Michaels last week here on the Saturday Showdown. Trying to do the same now to the Ginetti of the team, Marty Ginetti. And a big clothesline by Guacamole taking Ginetti off his feet. Guacamole going up to that top rope. Guacamole, what is he looking for here? Waiting for Marty Ginetti to get back up to his feet. Big drop, it connects. But ring positioning slightly off. As Guacamole doesn't go for the cover. Oh, but Ginetti creates some distance there. Pushing Guacamole off. And a lovely flip into that Bulldog. But just a two count. Guacamole kicking out of that one. As Marty Ginetti now just waiting for Guacamole to get back up to his feet. Pole driver connects. Guacamole, but Guacamole's just getting straight back up. But that slap put him down. But just a two count. Marty Gennetti can't put away Guacamole. Goes for that super kick, but Guacamole counters into a neck breaker. Guacamole just stamping on the head of Gennetti. And stamping on the hand. Guacamole sending Ginetti off the ropes. Goes over the top. Underneath. Oh, a lovely spinning kick. Catches Ginetti there. And now both wrestlers just exchanging blows. But Ginetti... Catching Guacamole a couple of times. Guacamole still fighting it out. Catching Janetti now. Both men still on their feet. Just slugging away here. Who is going to come out on top of this one? Janetti starting to build some momentum. Big shot. Takes Guacamole down. Janetti. Is he looking for that super kick? Oh, there it is. Super kick. Connects. But Ginetti is down. Guacamole is down. Guacamole not moving. Ginetti just needs to crawl over there and get that cover. There's the pin. And there is the victory. Marty 
revenge for that defeat of Shawn Michaels last week but that is going to be it for this episode of the Saturday Showdown make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all the action here at NFHW